the monetary aspect of, of being a, a child actor. You know, we have to put some of it into a trust, but then others, you know, like, wow, we got a car. And it has, <laughs> the license plate says for MPG. Oh, well, thank <laughs> Wait you. Wait a minute, I Mark? can't drive it. I can't drive it, but thank you. That's my car. Yeah. But they socked a lot of money away from you. And I got to think that, you know, being on a show, you probably didn't get paid that much when you were on Saved by the Bell. No. I think at the height of it, again, I don't know the finances because I wasn't involved at that time. But I think at the height of it, we were getting paid maybe 5000 a week for a show. 5000 a week on a show. Now you think, that's a lot of money, $5,000 a week. Well, you got agents and taxes, and you're walking out of there with two grand a week on a show that's a hit show that people are wa- kids are watching all across the world. And you're making five thousand dollars an episode. I think when people assume that when you're on TV, they assume you're making millions of dollars, but that's not where you're making your bucks. No, that's not where you're making their bucks. And then you think like, well, you went to syndication. <laughs> syndication for us, I get syndication checks. I, I mean, I, I, I giggle about it because <laughs> somebody had to print that on a check, but it's <laughs> like thirteen cents, ten cents for you know uh, hundreds of shows being shown. It, it, it's run its course. <laughs> Jesus. So no, I don't I don't make and then you would think like, oh well, what about merchandise? Well, we got screwed out of that too. We don't get any money for merchandise. Um, you know, we don't we don't get much. So uh when you see our names as producers on a on the the Peacock show, it's a nice, it's a nice way for us to be a part of the show again. Right. And we we have always from day one, um, well, I shouldn't say from day one. I I'd say there was a period there where we were all struggling to break free of that you know, the, the, the sort of stigma attached to say by the bell. But for the most part, we've, we've all been very positive about our experiences with the, with that uh, show. It's also amazing that you've, um, are you guys all still friends mostly? Sure. Yeah, I think so. And, you know, I read, and, you know, of course this is old news, but it said you, you actually dated three of your co-stars, but you're probably a kid when that happened. Yeah, no, I, I mean, it, it all happened in the span of the, the show. None of us dated after the show was canceled. <laughs> And so yeah. there was no bad blood about that. There was like, who was the one that you think you crushed on the hardest? That like it wasn't just dating. Like you, you thought you were in love with. Uh, I, I, I mean, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. So I, I think I can say that I, I probably didn't have the biggest crush on Tiffany only because Tiffany and I had a different relationship. Her and I were very. Uh, we we're almost like siblings in a way. I know that's hard for people wa- who watch the show. It's like Zach and Kelly were siblings, but that's, we really had a, a closeness that that's what that closeness translated into. And it's still to this day, she's probably the closest one that I, that, uh, to, that I'm, that I have a relationship with now. Wow. Um, yeah. Her and I, you know, probably see each other more than anyone else. And, and uh, partly because I, I really like her husband, Brady, uh, <laughs> he's just an, he's just an amazing dude, and, yeah. and they have good kids, and and you know I I really like her, and I, I I yeah I like her family and stuff like that. I like everyone's, but Tiffany and I always had this closeness, but it was it translated into being siblings, and then when we kind of dated, it was just awkward. It was weird. It, it didn't feel as great as like the relationship we had before. Right. 